Okay, uh, let's do the next few problems in our geometry readiness test. And the next three problems uh, are all graphing, so let's do them all on the same graph here. The first one is y equals negative 2x plus 6. Well, this is in the form that's pretty famous. This form is actually called slope intercept form, where the m value is the slope and the b value is what we call the y intercept. So when I'm looking at this equation, it looks like the 6 is the y-intercept. Let me draw a better graph in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 6, which is the, the y-intercept, and I'm going to go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. And that's where I begin my graph. And I'm going to build my graph... Uh, using the instructions of slope. So in this case, the slope is negative 2. Another way to write that is negative 2 over 1. And another phrase that we've learned in um, slope is rise over run. So in this case, since it's negative, it's going to be going down to the right. So I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And I can go like this all day long. And I'm going to go up 2, backwards 1, up 2, backwards 1. And when we connect all those dots, we form a straight line. That's why this is called the linear equation. And that's the graph of that linear equation. And it also, it's asking us for the slope, but we just talked about that. The slope of that line is negative 2. So that's the graph of y equals negative 2x plus 6. Um, the next two graphs uh, are a little different. This yellow one is what we call a horizontal line. And then the x equals negative 2 is going to be a vertical line. Let's do the yellow one, which is y equals negative 4. So um, I'm going to use my graphing tool in here. I'm going to graph y equals negative 4. That means all these, this whole entire line that I'm about to graph, they all have coordinates. 1, 2, 3, 4. And every single one of these coordinates, if you can visualize this line, it's a bunch of coordinates in here. They all have something in common. What do they all have in common? All their y values are exactly negative 4. That's why there's no x there. It really doesn't matter what x is, but y will constantly be negative 4. And let's find the slope of that line. Anytime we have a horizontal slope, the slope will be 0. The last line, which is x equals negative 2, that's going to be a vertical line. And let's graph that. So I'm going to take my tool in here, x equals negative 2. And I'm graphing that in a vertical fashion. And why is that? Well, once again, if you can imagine all of uh, these points along this line, they, they all have something in common. What do they all have in common? Well, all of their x coordinates are negative 2. It doesn't really matter what their y is. That's why there is, there is no y in that equation. Doesn't matter what y is, but x is guaranteed to be negative 2. But in this case, the slope is a little tricky. There actually isn't a number representing its slope. So we say uh, there's no slope, um, does not exist, or we could put the symbol right there, meaning empty, meaning there's just nothing. All right, that's the slope of all three of those lines. Let's try the next one. The next one wants us to find x and y intercepts of this line in here. So a few ways to do this. There's a visual way and an algebraic way. I'm going to do the algebraic way. And so what we should know about x-intercepts is there's a guarantee. What's the guarantee? Their y values are guaranteed to be 0. And we should know something about y-intercepts. They have a guarantee. Their guarantee is their x-coordinates have to be 0. So I'm going to rewrite the equation on this side to find my x-intercept. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 0 in for y, because that's my guarantee. And so what happens is 3x equals 12, x is 4. So this coordinate is 4, comma 0. That is what we call the x-intercept of that equation. Let's try finding the y-intercept. I'm going to take that same exact equation over here. And I'm going to do the opposite. What's the opposite? I'm going to plug in 0 in for the x-coordinate. 
So when I do that, 2 negative 2y equals 12, y equals negative 6. So let me write it in coordinate form. What's my answer? Well, x was 0. That's why I wrote the 0 first. And y is negative 6. And so this is the y-intercept of that equation. Now right, let's do one more. This one has some variables and some exponents. And the exponents are actually raised to another exponent. So we have a rule in math, how do we handle exponents raising uh, to another exponent? And the rule is quite simple. If it, the variable is raised to another power, we just multiply those two out. So it's going to be x times ab, whatever that is. So in this case, it's going to be x to the 6th power because 2 times 3 is 6. And this one's going to be x to the 12th power. And like I just said, that's uh, the power to power rule. Power to a power. That's how we handle power to power rules. The next rule is uh, we're about to use is um, awkward to say is because what we're about to do is multiply. However, when we multiply things with the same base, we don't actually multiply them. We actually add them. And so when I add 6 and 12 together, I get 18. And that's the final answer here. All right, let's take a little break.